How's it going guys? We have a difficult question for MSK Rheumatology for step one and step two. Uh, nearly identical question shows up a few times on the 2CK material in particular. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. MEHL man underscore medical links down below. Follow me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 39 year old woman, two month history of progressive weakness and tingling of her hands. She has a 15 year history of rheumatoid arthritis, managed with multiple medications. Examination shows three plus deep tendon reflexes in the upper extremities, which the following is most appropriate next step in diagnosis. Let's just whip through the answers here. Choice A. Measurement of serum creatine kinase activity. Wrong answer. I don't think I've ever seen this as an actual correct answer in Yosemite, albeit I've seen it as a distractor. You could be aware that creatine kinase is, in, this is a high yield point. When we talk about polymyositis versus polymyalgia rheumatica, the way we distinguish is that both can have pain and stiffness, both can have increased ESR, both can even present with a low grade fever to the auto, autoimmune flare, but polymyositis is gonna have increased serum CK and or weakness on physical exam, on physical exam, okay? Long fucking discussion, made many clips on it. That's a high yield point about creatine kinase for Yosemite. Also be aware this will increase in muscle breakdown, okay? Uh, and that this can even be increased in uh, situations of increased tone, such as ALS, okay? I know that sounds weird. Long discussion once again. Uh, can be increased in pleurodynia, which has nothing to do with the lungs. That's an MSK condition where you get uh, intercostal muscle spasm, spasm, lateral chest pain due to viral infection. Shows up twice on 2CK material. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, x-ray hands, wrong answer. Patient already has well-established diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. In this situation in particular, it's not going to give us any extra information that can particularly be beneficial to us. All right, very generic type of distractor here. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, DEXA scan, wrong answer. So obviously it's done for bone density. For family medicine, you're gonna do this starting at age 65. And then if a patient has poor bone density, osteopenia or worse, you're gonna do this every two years. US really doesn't actually give a fuck about the frequency, okay? It's more just they want you to know you introduce this starting at age 65. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, electromyography, nerve conduction studies, wrong answer. Very generic answer choice that shows up quite a bit on 2CK for a variety of conditions. Okay, if you were to Google slash wiki this, you'll literally see 50 things that this could be done for. I've seen this as an answer for carpal tunnel syndrome. I've seen this as an answer for Guillain Barre. I've seen this as an answer for polymyositis. Okay, so just a very generic answer choice for you, Simile. However, in this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice E, serum methotrexate levels, wrong answer. Distractor, methotrexate isn't gonna cause neuropathy. All right, so methotrexate classically, pulmonary fibrosis, very important, restrictive lung disease. Bone marrow suppression, so agranulocytosis, neutropenia, so that can present as mouth ulcers, hepatotoxicity. Wrong fucking answer. Choice F, MRI of cervical spine is correct answer. Now, this is atlantoaxial subluxation in the setting of severe rheumatoid arthritis. Now, if that's the first time you're hearing this, probably like, what the fuck? Like, what's that about? Okay, well, I'll tell you the high yield point. Very clean and easy. You need to know that an RA, especially advanced RA, they are prone to getting atlantoaxial subluxation of the spine. And there's two main vignettes that this is going to show up uh, on US Amelia, okay? So the two main vignettes, number one, this. They're going to give you a patient just with RA, and there's going to be upper limb miscellaneous neuro findings, okay? We have a deep uh, brisk, so two plus is generally normal for reflexes. Three and four are increased. And that can reflect upper motor neuron findings. So we have some sort of impingement on the spinal cord here. That's the implication with this finding. And this is one way they ask it, okay? And they just want straight up MRI of cervical spine. And if you've heard of this factoid before that RA can cause atlantoaxial subluxation, you say, oh, well, this is easy. This isn't like a big deal. Okay, well, that's why we're covering this clip. Second point, uh, the second way they ask this, and this is actually gonna be two thirds of questions. Okay, so there's three questions I've seen, but I'll just get to the fucking point. They're gonna give you a patient pre-surgery and they're gonna say with RA, and they're gonna say, uh, which the following needs to be done in this patient? And the answer is 
CT of cervical spine? That's one question with one answer. The other is uh, flexion extension x-rays of cervical spine. Okay, so I've seen three questions on this, and those two are grouped as asked in one way, where just you have a pre-surgical patient and a patient who's going to be undergoing general anesthesia, anesthesia with intubation. You need to screen for atlantoaxial subluxation in an RA patient, okay? So one question, answer was CT of cervical spine. Other question on the 2CK form is, flexion extension x-ray of the cervical spine. They're not going to put both as answer choices. Just be aware both are correct. But if a patient already presents with neurologic symptoms, and this has nothing to do with surgery in this particular situation, you're just going to do straight up MRI of cervical spine. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.